Dallas police issued an arrest warrant for Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver and former SMU standout Rasheed Rice. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Rice was driving a Lamborghini last month when police say he caused a chain reaction crash that injured several people. He's facing eight charges related to that crash. At least two of them are felonies. The driver of a Corvette also involved in the crash facing the same charges. Fox News Blake Hansen is in tonight with tonight's developments. Blake. As Stephen Heather, at last check, neither Rice nor the other driver charged had been booked into jail. These are serious charges that carry the potential for lengthy prison times. Dallas police issued arrest warrants Wednesday for Chiefs wide receiver and former SMU star Rashi Rice over his role in this chain reaction crash March 30th. Police say Rice was speeding in a Lamborghini SUV when it and a speeding Corvette caused the series of collisions on the Central Expressway near University Boulevard. Four other vehicles were hit, injuring multiple people. Yet TMZ photos showed the people in the Lamborghini and Corvette leave the scene before police arrived. Last week, Rice's attorney told reporters he expected charges to be filed. Every question that was asked of him, he responded to. Dallas Police Department and we will continue to cooperate with them in terms of this particular accident. Dallas Police say Rice faces eight charges, one count of aggravated assault, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury and six counts of collision involving injury. Police also identified the driver of the Corvette, 21 year old Theodore Knox. Knox faces the same charges. The SMU football website lists a Tenny Knox on its roster. The university spokesperson Wednesday said the university has not received any information about this. We'll have to refer you to DPD, which is the investigating agency. Rice has not spoken on camera since the crash, but said in a statement that he takes full responsibility. His attorney has said Rice is attempting to make things right with the people injured. Rice's attorney is not commenting on the charges just yet. An NFL spokesperson told me that the league is continuing to monitor developments in this matter. Stephen Heather. All right, this is Blake Hansen in downtown Dallas tonight. Blake, thank you.